Man, it's hotter than hell. You're the one that wanted to move down here. Mom said you didn't have to, but you did anyway. And now you're the one complaining. I told you, the further south you go, the hotter it gets. Sometimes even 100 degrees. You better get used to it. You sure they're ready for us? It's been two years. Oh yeah. They're ready. And we brought some friends with us. These Texans may remember the Alamo, but let's give them something else to remember Texas by. Welcome everyone to another episode of RCW here on this Wednesday afternoon as we have the opening contest. Jackson Cobb makes his way out here again. Now Jackson Cobb had one of the biggest wins of his career. I believe picking that up over Austin Lee, the excellence of arrogance. And now Jackson Cobb looking for another huge win here as he will take on the Rebel Brad Williams here tonight in our opening contest. Jackson Cobb, one of the participants in the United States Championship Tournament. He's had a couple of great matches here in RCW, and he's going to have to pull a rabbit out of his hat here with Brad Williams. The Rebel is this man will face J. Jin, the Blessed Warrior, at RCW Legacy next Friday. That being February 2nd, folks. February 2nd, next Friday, RCW Legacy culminates from Dublin, Ireland. And that man right there, Brad Williams, will face the blessed warrior, Jay Jin, in a no-holds-barred matchup. Here we go with Jackson Cobb and Brad Williams ready to go. As Brad Williams charges in, gets the pop-up knee strike right away. And it's Jackson Cobb battling back. Look at the quickness of Jackson Cobb here. He also has very a good technical prowess as well as Brad Williams. Tried to use the DDT. But Jackson Cobb firing on all cylinders here against the Rebel. Irish whip into the ropes now. Oh, what a suplex there. Over the head suplex from Jackson Cobb. He's in a perfect spot. Trying for it again, perhaps, but both men colliding in a clothesline to the outside. Jackson Cobb able to. Get up right there, and looks like Brad didn't really think that through too much. Oh, but now Brad, oh, the neck. And the face right into the mat, or right into the concrete, I should say, of the arena. As a referee tells the men to get back in the ring here, we want this to be a clean fight, but I doubt it's going to be as a Quick cover. And a kick out at two. Now you have to wonder what's going through the mind of Brad Williams right now. As he awaits Jay Jin. At RCW Legacy for that matchup. But he can't really be focused on that right now. As he has Jackson Cobb to worry about. Look at this back and forth here. Between both of these guys, and look at that slam. Right into the pin here, two kick out from the Rebel. 
Jackson Cobbins showing that he deserves a title shot. You know, with the getting a huge win over the former world champion, and if he could pick up a win here, this could definitely shift momentum greatly in his direction. It's an Irish whip. Oh, both men colliding once again in a neckbreaker. Running neckbreaker there from Brad Williams. As Jackson Cobb taking a breather here, trying to recollect himself as Brad Williams with a shoulder tackle off of the apron. And now Brad calling up Jackson Cobb to his feet. I don't know how wise this is, but oh, Brad Williams doesn't seem to care there. Is he's throwing everything he has at Jackson Cobb as he lands that knee right on the jaw. And Brad looked like he was going to get back in the ring, but I guess he decided not to as a count of four. As Brad just Brad and Jackson both getting tossed around here. Oh, what a right hand. Now Jackson Cobb gets back in. You got to love what you're seeing between these two men. Irish whip <laughs> on the apron. And now Jackson Cobb sends him back out. A little bit of mind games here as Jackson Cobb. Goes down with the elbow drop and nobody home there. Nobody landed that one. And a forearm. As Brad's making him pay for that error. And now Brad now. Getting him back into the ring now, Brad. Deciding to go up top. Here on his own accord, an elbow drop lands for Brad. Now a hook of the leg here to get the win over Jackson Cobb and a kick out of two. Red, you can see the frustration as he might be going for the bitter end here. Oh, but Jackson Cobb, he sees it. Jackson Cobb tried to end it with a bridging German suplex. And now look at this, a slam again. The strength and power of Jackson Cobb. Now look at this, the angle slip. Made famous by his mentor, Kurt Angle, kick out it too. Taking a page out of the Hall of Famers playbook there with the angle slip. Jackson Cobb's had enough of those mounted punches. He delivers a couple of his own. Now Brad on the top. Jackson Cobb. We're going to do something dangerous. Jackson with a super blaster on the top. But Brad recognizes the trouble that he was in. Rolling out to the outside. Jackson Cobb wasting no time trying to get him back in. Brad Williams wants no part of that. Brad going with a flurriness of chops and now a couple of knees right to the midsection. Now Brad going to reset the count. Think smarter, not harder, says Brad Williams. Is Brad now in a good position now, Brad. Jackson Cobb, Brad, back and forth here. You gotta love matches like this. Jackson Cobb, oh my, what a clothesline. 
The Jackson Cobb calling him up to his feet. Jackson Cobb looking for the angle slam. Got it. The angle slam again on Brad Williams. Kick out from Brad at two. And the RCW fandom wants it one more time, and he's going to call for it again. The angle slam. And Jackson Cobb with decisive wins over two of our biggest stars here. In RCW, Jackson Cobb got to be feeling good with those two, Austin Lee and Brad Williams. But don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get to your next matchup momentarily. I've been underestimated my whole life. Even my own mother had no faith in me. And Sky, you're no different. When you signed me, I knew there was something different about you. I knew just in the back of your mind that you couldn't play them. That somebody could be a bigger star than you. Even your own sister. When she was at the top, you always had to be the center of attention. It's just the way you are. And at Rapture, I didn't see you. I saw someone else. You awakened something in me. And I never thought it would be uncovered. You put me through hell. And I guarantee you, Savannah didn't do all that shit on her own. This was all part of your plan, wasn't it? Use your influence to get everyone else to do the dirty work for you. But at RCW Legacy, no one is going to be helping you. Because I know what hell is like. And you're going to get a taste of it. Inside. L. And a cell. Now I know you're no stranger to this. And you may think you have the upper hand. But when you stand across that ring from me, as that cage goes down, you're not looking at the cybernetic stargazer. You're looking at Starlet Nova, the girl who escaped her own hell. Inside. Oh. The girl who stopped at nothing while she watched her mother drown in a pit of her own misery. This isn't about winning. It's about something that you said, justice, not for me, but for Brian, for the outlaw family that you destroyed. So on February 2nd, you better pray, Sky, because Scarlet Nova is coming for you. And I will die if I have to. Strong words from Scarlet Nova as we have tag team action coming your way. We have the former tag champs, Rhyme and Reason, Jacob Rhyme and Caleb Reason. Making their way out here now. Now these guys have been 
around here in the RCW Tag Division for quite some time as they will face another team that were former RCW Tag Champs in Vibe here tonight. Now Vibe losing the titles at RCW Afterlife to Fear, Hades, and Shadow. And now Fear will defend those titles against Blitz and Gucci, that being Austin Lee and Jason Moreno at RCW Food Legacy in Dublin, Ireland next Friday. Close out Season 15 and WWE 2K23's life cycle here on RCW as we have the Maverick Logan Paul. Making his way out here. Logan Paul. Essentially. Being kicked out of Vibe, but apparently Chris Danger didn't seem to get that message. As Chris Danger was the one that put Logan Paul in Vibe in the first place, made that call as Logan Paul came out at RCW Overdrive, throwing Brian Outlaw into that spotlight. It seems that Logan Paul will start off this one against Jacob Ryman. You know, like I said, Logan Paul doesn't seem to care that Brandon Collins doesn't want him in Vibe anymore. Technically speaking, he shouldn't even be competing tonight on behalf of Vibe. But uh, here we are. It's Jacob Ryan, the Chi-Town native, unloading with some fists. On to Logan Paul is Logan with a clothesline in the corner to the powerhouse. It's now Jacob Ryan. With that power, look at that cross body. Oh, but Logan gets right back up trying to stop Jacob Ryan from getting Chris out of it. And oh, Logan Paul. Being able to take advantage now, Logan. Logan locking up the legs. As Caleb stops that figure four leg lock. Caleb, though, taken out. Danger still out of it is a moon salt. From him, Logan. Feeling himself right now. Chris Danger taken out once again. It seems that Logan is scared to get in. Oh, Jacob Rhyme. Was trying to get to go right after Logan. Referee got in the way there as the clothesline. And a kick out from him at two. Chris Danger still laid out, however. Now he's starting to get to his feet now. Going right back to his corner. Oh, right into the turnbuckle face first goes Jacob Ryan. Now look at this double team. 
from Logan and Chris. This is the first time we've seen Chris Danger in a number of weeks as a jumping knee strike there. Jacob Ryan desperately needs a tag here. The knee. And now Chris Danger really feeling himself now. Another knee. Look at this. Jacob Ryan. Looking for it. The Chi Town combo. Boom! That's what Chi Town is all about. As Logan Paul gets dumped. Now, Chris may be in huge trouble here as they look for final judgment. Final judgment. That leg drop on the back of the neck. Referee wasn't in position to kick out, and that allows Danger to kick out of that. Oh, but now Jacob Ryan getting some help. Oh, Danger. Able to take down Caleb. Caleb, though, still fighting as Logan gets tagged in. Standing switch here and a blow right to the back of the neck there. And oh, what a German. As Logan makes the hot tag over to Chris, and Chris fires off with a forearm, trying to make the hot tag over to Jacob Ryan, but Chris stopped it. See how Chris and Logan are doing pretty well as a team right now. Look at this. This is beautiful. Beautiful here. And oh, what a super kick to the back of the neck there of Caleb. But Caleb fighting. There's Chris. Back and forth. There you go. It's Chris. Oh my! What a forearm. Now he might be looking for a taste of danger. He might be looking for it. No, the super kick. Into the last shot. The kick right to the knee. Into the last shot. Shades of his pal Adam Cole. But Caleb still fighting. That's what he tried for Taste of Danger there, but just not in Seguri. Logan making that tag. And now Logan. Logan with the last shot, but missed it. Caleb, kick right to the face of Logan Paul. And Logan Paul dazed from that. And now Logan, getting a final judgment right from Jacob Ryan. One, two to win it, kick out from Logan. And Logan, still in it. Dragon screw leg whip there. You're not gonna beat Jacob Ryan by power, so you gotta go to your quickness. And Logan's got it. Say what you want about Logan Paul. We've seen his matches. He showed out. As Caleb's taken care of. Logan. 
Able to make the tag over to Chris. And Chris, oh, landed on his feet. Now it's that quickness coming into play here. This is exactly what you want if you're Chris and Logan right now. Look at this double team. And oh, that shoulder tackle. As Caleb recollects himself on the apron, Caleb desperately needs that tag there because Jacob Rhyme is really struggling right now. So he can't, I don't think he knows where he is. Jacob Rhyme doesn't even realize that Chris tagged himself in. Now he does. Sling blade. Drop kick. And now Chris tried for that knee again. Jacob Rhyme. Able to get out of it. The elevated flatliner drops Chris. Now there's Logan. There's Logan over Chris. Chris knows super kick right to the face. Straight check and suplex. Chris always knows what needs to be done. Tried for the taste of danger again. What's a no avail, Chris? Has been so quick. As Jacob Rhyme does the smart thing and rolls out. Chris though tries to take out Caleb. Caleb gets taken out on the outside by Chris. But this gives time for Jacob Rhyme to recover. As Chris is not really focused on the legal man right now. As now he is. The quick strikes. As Caleb finds himself dazed right now, rhyme and reason. Don't even know what hit him is Chris and Logan. are taking it to him right now. Oh, I believe Chris is busted open as well. I didn't see that. Towards the eye there. As now Jacob Rhyme has him in perfect position. Looking for the Chi Town combo. Logan's taken out. Now, this is right where you want to be. If you're rhyming reason right now. Got final judgment lined up again. Caleb, right to Chris Danger. Two, three, and rhyme and reason. Pick up the victory. Over Chris Danger and Logan. Rhyme and Reason are right back where they started. The win in their college. All right, folks, now we are at your women's matchup of the night as we have Scarlet Nova. The enigmatic stargazer making her way to the ring here now. You heard from her earlier tonight. As now the matchup at RCW Legacy. 
with her in sky will be Hell in a Cell. This rivalry has been going on for a number of months now. And now, Scarlet Nova looks to face the woman that she faced that made her, that she made her debut against it is the baller Jordan Williams. And she didn't come alone, her sister. Savannah, right at her side. Now it was Sky Outlaw who had chosen the opponent for Jordan. It was part of their rivalry, Jordan and Sky, which ultimately led to Sky losing the titles at RCW Eternal and her taking a leave of absence from RCW for quite some time. That is until RCW Fright Fest 2 when she attacks Scarlet. Now, she already had that matchup with Savannah, Scarlet, that is, in an interstellar combat matchup on the moon. And Scarlet was the victor in that one. Jordan trying to hit the reset button after losing her title, the women's title, in the hands of Bella Durov. And we'll see if she can do exactly that here tonight. And Scarlet with a chop in the corner. Jordan gets out of it. Jordan. It's the elbow strike check there. And now just these little palm strikes here. Spinning heel kick. As the baller finds herself on the apron right now, Scarlet charging in with a shoulder tackle. And now Scarlet wasting no time, going right after Jordan here on the outside. And now Scarlet dumping Jordan face first off of the apron. Scarlet is really feeling herself right now. What's up, Ghost Strats? Good to see you in here. Appreciate you joining us here. So we have Jordan and Scarlet Nova, the baller, Jordan Williams, and the enigmatic stargazer, Scarlet Nova. Here tonight for our women's contest or for our women's division. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Scarlet Nova will face Sky Outlaw at RCW Legacy in Dublin, Ireland next Friday, February 2nd, inside Hell in a Cell. As Jordan can only get the kick out of two there, only get the count of two as Scarlet being gifted this cyberpunk attire. By V herself from Night City. And ever since then, Scarlet has been on top of the world, even despite having her issues with Rapture. And all women's faction with Christina Wolf, Sky Outlaw, Luna Outlaw, and Violet Knight. Now the only person the only two people that she hasn't beaten in in matches as, as far as Rapture goes is Luna and Sky. So if you remember correctly, RCW Afterlife, that Iron Women's match ended in a draw, and that is what is leading to 
The matchup at RCW Legacy inside Hell in a Cell to determine a winner of this whole thing. But if you remember, rivalries started between these two ladies because of what Savannah did, throwing Scarlett off of that platform, electrocuting her, sending her into the coma. And we didn't know whether she was going to be alive or dead, unfortunately. But luckily, Scarlett is okay, still living and still kicking with us. And Savannah watches on her Jordan's older sister, Savannah. And Scarlett blows a kiss to the crowd. And I wouldn't be worried about that right now as she tried for the drop kick, missed it. A couple of kicks to the hamstring. Trust me, that I've pulled a hamstring before. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. And let me tell you, it's an arm drag. Right from the baller. The baller always one step ahead. She always comes in clutch when she needs to, just like her sister Savannah. It's in their blood. Irish whip into the ropes. Hip toss into a drop kick there from Scarlett. Gotta love the acrobatics here. Scarlett now has Jordan up against the ropes, looking for the UFO cutter. Here it is. Up and over with a UFO cutter. Is that going to be enough to finish it for the baller to be followed out? No, kick out of two. We all know what happens next. As Scarlett prepares the end of the Cosmos over Jordan. Jordan with that elbow strike. And now Jordan is trying to get this over with two. She grabbed the rope, but Jordan somehow wins it. In perhaps the most anticlimactic way possible. Kevin Owens, the prize fighter. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. We will spare you if you don't show up at RCW Legacy. Because this is a fight that you can't win. Terry Hayes Jr. has defended that title with or without us. He has proven time and time again on why he is the one to be defeated. The Goliath in the David and Goliath story. Don't make the same mistake that others did. Jay Jin, Brad Williams, and of course, the psycho kid, Eliza Jones. They all had one goal in line to end the reign of Terry Hines Jr. And look at where that got them. Changed forever. Do you really want to be a victim of your own demise? Or do you back out while you still have the chance? Strong message to Kevin Owens from the Brotherhood. And speaking of Kevin... Here he is tonight, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. This man challenged Terry Hines Jr. of the Brotherhood to his Intercontinental Championship at RCW Legacy next Friday in Dublin, Ireland. And we will see if that man can capture the championship. that nobody has been able to get their hands on since Terry Hines Jr. won it all those months ago at RCW Overdrive in the finals of the Intercontinental Title Tournament. 
And the prize fighter looks more than ready to go. As the Brotherhood, or at least two parts of the Brotherhood, Sinister and Terry Hines, the man he will face tonight, Terry Hines Jr. Terry Hines, the father of Terry Hines Jr., Terry Hines Sr. You shall see what the Brotherhood have in store for Kevin Owens tonight. And I, and I can't help but think this is all part of a plan to weaken Kevin Owens. For Terry Hines Jr. For their title match. So, you know, we'll, we all shall see. You know, how about that matchup? Between Jordan Williams and Scarlett. That being anticlimactic there. And I will say this. They will face each other again. Next week in the Go Home Show. In the main event. on Wednesday, so they will face each other yet again. Two and a kick out, and it will be a no disqualification matchup. So rope breaks will not be a factor. That is in the future, this is now as Terry Hines Jr. or Terry Hines, excuse me. Taking a couple shots here from the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Chop after chop here with Terry Hines. With the power and the gut buster. Coming into play here. And now I have to I have to say that Kevin Owens has the guts. Has a lot of guts. Trying to go up against the Brotherhood as Terry Hines through the ropes with a DDT. He wasted no time there. Talk about insanity. Oh, but now Kevin Owens trying to battle back. Terry Hines just one step ahead of him. Both men colliding. Oh, but a clothesline there. Now look at this. The pile driver, the package pile driver there. We'll perhaps look for the center, but the side rushing leg sweep catches Owens. And oh, oh, look at that Insiguri catching Terry Hines on the head. But Terry Hines with the atomic drop. Irish Whitman to the corner. I've seen him do this, the Superman punch. Into the spear, right from Terry Hines. And Owens may be out of it. Owens is out, two kick out from Owens. I thought Owens was out of it. As Terry Hines covers him again, kick out at two once more. Now Owens, trying to battle back. Owens, Owens got him, Stunner! Stunner on to Terry Hines, right back at him, kick out of two as well.
This is amazing. These two men in our main event. And a little trash talk there from Terry Hines. His son, Terry Hines Jr., watching his dad. And I mean, I, you have to give Jr. credit because he's defended the title without the Brotherhood out there, but I think this is all just a part of the plan. I think his dad is kind of the insurance to help his son retain his championship in the best way that he can. A weekend Owens, this is the best thing for him right now. Is Owens now, Owens pop-up powerbomb! The pop-up powerbomb to Terry Hines and a kick out of two. Oh, now Terry Hines propped up to his feet. Terry. Uh-oh, Terry. Jumping Owens with a powerbomb of his own. On the outside. As Terry Hines now calling up Owens to his feet. Owens, Owens with a power slam as he turns it around. Oh, now Owens. Owens tried for the comeback. He's fighting. Fight, Owens, fight. It's in his blood. Owens, super kick to Terry Hines. Now look at this. The pile driver. Irish whip into the ropes. Owens! Owens couldn't catch him. That slight error from Owens and oh, that sleeper. Trying to make Owens pass out here. What Owens, finding a way out. But a lot of air was cut off. As an Irish whip into the ropes. Pop up, power bomb to Terry Hines again. One, two, finish it. Finish it. No, Terry Hines with a kick out of two and a half again. Owens could have finished it there. But Terry Hines wouldn't let him. Now the Irish whip. Superman punch. Spare! The Kevin Owens. And it's gotta be over there. It's gotta be kick out from Owens. My God. Oh, he's locking and loading it. Superman punch, no Owens stepped out of the way. Owens, pile driver. Now it's just one last thing to do. Owens. Oh my, Owens has had enough. Owens could have finished it inside the squared circle, but he wants more damage. The prize fighter, stutter through the table. And the prize fighter, on something else right now.
Terry Hines still in it. Despite the damage being done. Owens with a right hand. Now Owens. He keeps fighting. It's in his blood. Irish whip. Close line. I thought we were going to see the Superman punch again. Terry Hines just punishing Owens right now. Owens dumps Terry Hines over. And now Sinister dumped for his troubles. But there's Terry Hines as he takes advantage. But Owens battles back. Owens able to get in the ring. They got to finish it there. Oh, well, Terry Hines. Irish whip. Tried for the chop, missed it. Irish whip, though. Owens, pop a power bomb. He caught Terry on slight hesitation kick out at two. What does Owens got to do? Oh, Terry Hines. Terry, two, two. Terry Hines got it. What a matchup. Owens can't believe it. As Terry Hines picks up the win in our main event.